it's your girl Kinsey. welcome back to my channel for today's reading i'm going to be doing a medium reading on cooper a few of you did ask me to do a reading um for him so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for y'all um mind you i know nothing about this person so i'm going into this very forward very honest very open-minded um i didn't even look into anything y'all just told me i told me he's a tiktoker i'm like okay cool let's do this there is a heavy very heavy energy around this person here and i just want to see what's going on what's happening how this person felt how they're feeling right now if you're interested in any other celebrity readings that i have done or medium readings that i've done i will go ahead and leave some in the description down below if you want to get a private reading from me you can dm me on instagram or you can get a live tiktok reading from me um, on my tiktok um instagram's linked in the description tiktok's linked in the description let's go ahead and get started okay so right away it does feel like this person was kind of like once closed off but was willing to open up and say a lot more than they expected i feel like they they want to say a lot more and they, i don't i feel like there was more to a story there's more to the script that they didn't fully get to say and it's a little like damn like maybe if i could have said more sooner you know it, it could have helped me a lot it could have helped others a lot and i feel like this person is almost like i want to be able to help others and not just myself i don't want to be selfish i want to help others but the biggest thing to me here is just like the gay breeding this person and i feel like this is no surprise to some of you this person definitely does have like that snaky friend they do i'm not i'm not just saying that to be bs with you but this person really does have that friend and there's some kind of uh, uh, okay <laughs> my, my chest is kind of hurting here um this person is almost saying how they dealt with something here now this is almost like a problem an issue addiction that this person had to like face or talk about or maybe they didn't want to talk about it but they kind of had an opportunity i feel like they had multiple multiple like almost opportunities to explain and talk about what's really going on here and i feel like they they hit a lot they have a lot of deep inner thoughts a lot of deep i want to say trauma i'm feeling more so of that trauma that this person has dealt with that they've seen they might have not have had the best childhood growing up a lot of things that they dealt with spiritually mentally physically that was tough for this person and this person kind of carried along all of this pain all of this guilt all of this suffering all of this extra baggage this person carried that along they didn't want to but it felt like they were almost stuck trapped like they couldn't get out and it was almost like an endless cycle of i'm feeling this way i'm going through this i keep doing the same thing and i want to change i want to help myself but i don't think this person ever got to help themselves and that's what kind of hurts because it's like i was going to i was wanting to you know i feel like somebody cared enough to actually you know help me or willing to help me but then again it's almost like at the ending of that road when i'm about to you know you know not be here anymore um i kind of just uh, this person deals with a lot of regret this person held so much in that they should have released and they know that they should have spoke sooner i should have said more i, I could have i should have spoke sooner about a lot of things that i was dealing with and mentally physically this person just uh, i would say they also just weren't around good influences i feel like they would say that um i feel like their motive was to almost like you know they love people they care about people you know the support system that they had i feel like they loved it but it was also very um, like overwhelming sorry the the feeling of this is very overwhelming because i don't know how to react i don't know what to do i don't want to say the, i don't want to say the wrong things i don't want to be judged this is the thing this person did not want to be judged and i feel like they were always being judged but especially about this big situation that they wanted to speak on they wanted to bring up that was like people are going to judge me i don't want to be judged you know i'm already in the spotlight it's like adding that more onto it it puts a lot of hold on me it puts a lot of hold on me but this person just definitely hanged around the wrong crowd that did nothing better for them and they would admit that like yes you know this was my friend or this was the homie <laughs> i keep hearing that was the homie that was a friend that was my boy but there's a few people that just weren't good influences and i don't know nothing about this person so if you kind of know who that might be about let me know um but that's just that's just very unfortunate how this person almost felt that emptiness or they could be ooh, that's what that feeling is as they can be i don't know if this person kind of i feel like they definitely hung around some party people or kind of went to some parties here and there where it's like they'll be around these party people these parties 
and there's all these people here but i'm standing in the middle and i still feel alone i'm, I'm struggling while everybody's doing this or drinking you know taking things and i'm over here you know maybe i'm doing a little bit of this but i'm still feeling alone it's like no matter if i'm in a crowd or if i'm by myself i still feel alone i still feel some kind of emptiness but i want to be able to live my life i want to be able to enjoy myself i want to be able to kind of be free i keep hearing free like free in a way you know and i just i'm not really i'm a little i would say this person is disappointed in themselves and they don't want to admit that they don't want to say that but it's like i'm kind of disappointed in myself you know i had a whole i don't know how old this person was but i would say they were kind of young um i had a whole life to live i was still living i mean shit i had so many other things i wanted to do collaborations so many other things i have no more earthly worries <sighs> this person like struggled and worried a lot mentally this is more so of like mentally i was like fighting with myself my emotions and now I, I don't have to do that and that sucks because it should have been that way on earth i shouldn't have to you know be gone to finally feel some type of like at ease balance you know oh, i'm sorry i'm so sorry that happened to you and i think this death was very unexpected nobody expected this it kind of happened out of the blue this person kind of okay <sighs> I don't know how they necessarily died, but there's something within them. Health, like... They, they were trying to prevent this from happening, stop this from happening, and it ended up happening sooner than they expected. They didn't, like, they kind of figured they would go out this way, but then again, no, because there's something about their death here that's very interesting to me. Like, they're kind of unsure, but they're not unsure. But then again, it's almost like they just felt alone while this was happening, you know? Like, I mean, I would say a little bit of this person kind of did... They felt something for sure while they were kind of passing. They definitely felt something. It doesn't feel like it was quick and easy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this person dealt with so much. And it's now it's like there's light for me. There's finally light. There's no more darkness. I feel like this person held and was around so much darkness that now there's finally some light coming through. You know? And that that's a beautiful good that's a good thing. That means that this person is finding their peace. They're definitely finding their peace. The earth is our school. This person wants others to learn and experience and not do what they did. They want everyone else to kind of be better than them. I want you to be better. You gotta do better. You can't make the same mistakes as me. I mean, yes, you can learn from them. I tried learning from them. It wasn't the easiest, but I was kind of getting there, you know? This person wants others to just be able to learn. Learn from my mistakes. Learn, please. <laughs> this person this person does seem very chill very funny i feel like they love to make others laugh and make others feel good which is a really good thing okay so we have some different cards here the earth is our school i have no more earthly worries it is beautiful where i am this card is screaming that i finally have some kind of peace and some kind of closure within myself um it's unfortunate how this had to go and this had to be but you know here i am i have a new understanding um this person now understands why kind of everything happens for a reason basically stating that there is a cause and there is effect i could have prevented this i could have helped myself but i was too late this person might have been hard-headed <laughs> it might have been a little bit hard-headed um remember me by the happy memory so if you're close to this person friends family this person is sending you love if you were genuine with them and you weren't bullshitting them <laughs> most this person say that if you were real with me and you were genuine with me this goes for you remember the happy moments remember the happy times i love and i care about you even though i'm not there physically on the other side i'm still here i'm still watching i'm still around i'm still around i guess i am remember the good times and not the bad times please <laughs> um you are never alone so again if you're close to this person in general if you kind of feel their energy or you're feeling that emptiness or just you're healing or you're grieving this person wants you to know that they're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay for you, for them. Everything is fine. Um, but again, remember the happy memories. And for everyone else, you know, for supporting him and for loving him or, you know, even caring about him. He's like, damn, like, people care about me. People, you know, love me. People saw me as this almost, I would say, this person to look up to in a way. But he was like, or they saw, saw me as this person, but they didn't really know what I was going through, what I was feeling. And... He would say, I wanted to be a better role model. I should have been a better role model, you know. I could have, you know, spread a lot of words. I could have spread a lot more, you know. And not just, like, 
about this certain situation it should have been better i should have been better you know this person feels very almost guilty in a way they, they they carry that with them and i feel like there's somebody else around them who's kind of feeling that guilt somebody's definitely feeling some type of guilt here like oh i should have said that or no, i should have helped this person i should have been there i should have been harder on this person i should have cared more you know somebody's also feeling a little guilty about themselves it's definitely a masculine energy there now for the supporters you're never alone yes you know you might have not have known this person you know physically mentally personally friends or whatever but this person does hold and have a lot of love now that they didn't really they kind of had it before but now that they are passed on their energy is very much stronger so it's like it's there 100 percent this person almost wants to give everyone a hug you know this person wants to just like be like you know let's just this person doesn't want anybody to kind of dwell on this situation it's like i don't want nobody to really dwell on this and i hope you find peace i, I hope you find healing because that's what i should have did i should have found that in me i feel like i was closer to really finding and discovering myself more you know i was getting there i was i was really getting there but it, it got to the point to where it got too far i did too much this was too much mentally physically everything too much this that too much um but yeah Whew. very heavy feeling but i'm kind of letting him he's kind of fading away like releasing from me detaching i would say from me but yeah hopefully this kind of helped some of you gave you some closure gave you some insight on the situation what this person is feeling with what they felt what they're dealing with what they were dealing with whatever the case may be um if you enjoyed this reading please make sure to like comment share and subscribe if you aren't already again if you want a private reading from me whether that be a regular reading or a medium reading for me go ahead and dm me on instagram and i'll do my best to get back to you if you want live tiktok readings um you can go ahead and catch me live i'm pretty much live every day on tiktok instagram and tiktok are linked in the description thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you in my next video bye